Fortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with the layout of this police station still. Once we get this... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we are back to the coma 2. Brand new update is here, boys and girls. What does that mean? Chapter 4, 5, and 6 are now here. If you guys got the last video, you guys know... We had a very short one because I was planning to go long and then suddenly the game was like, Ah, we were done. You gotta wait. And then Thanksgiving break was here. I took a couple of days off, but I'm back now to continue our little journey into the cemented horror game thus far with Sexy Demon Teacher. I imagine things will probably be different too, so I'm excited about this because, hey, next month comes the... for release. She must have eventually broken through. She may come back. I better keep my eyes peeled. By the way, if you guys haven't watched that, should be a link somewhere in the video for you guys to definitely catch that in case you missed out on it. You know, people were away from the holidays, so I would, wouldn't be surprised if people missed out on that. So it seems like we're gonna get a shortcut through here, evident- Okay, cool. And then we get to get up to the security room where Yeso should technically be at. Now, correct me, uh, I'm gonna turn this light on. Correct me if I'm wrong, what is up with all these, uh... These crates with the... Clutching arms, was that there before? I mean, I got like a terrible memory, <laughs> so... Yeso! She's not responsive. The plasmatonic, that's her only hope. But can I really trust that Dokubi after what he did? Well, I mean, technically speaking... Yes, it was kind of a scummy thing that he did, but it was kind of your fault because they told you not to give your freaky name away. No choice, her life is on the line. Let's hope you're right again, Yeso. Come on. She's coughing? It worked! Hey, you're making a racket. You want to get us killed? I was so worried, you have no idea. It's going to take a lot more to bring Yeso down. And is it just me? Can I just throw it out here? Is it just me, or does Yeso's facial appearance kind of similar to Yang Mi, or whatever her name was that got impaled by Sexy Demon Teacher? I feel right as rain now. You did well out there, Mina. No thanks to the apothecarian of yours, who you totally neglected to mention was a real Dokubi. Ah, he's harmless. So as long as you don't give him your name, that is. <laughs> what? Don't tell me. Maybe you could have mentioned that before sending me on that insane fetch quest? I think somebody in the comments said that Yesu was the one who told us about that, so... I hear footsteps in the background, too. She's walking around outside. Hmm. Must have slipped my mind. I was on the verge of death. Besides, you know what they always say, experience is the best teacher. I mean, that's true, but not when it's literally life and death, you know? I hope that isn't the best nugget of wisdom you have for me. I haven't had the best luck with teachers tonight. And yes, I know that Psycho isn't the real Miss Song, it's just... This has been a lot to absorb. You needed to see everything with your own eyes so you wouldn't have believed me otherwise. Now you know what you're up against. The coma is real. Okay, I believe you. But what's next? We can't stick around here, I saw that thing kill a woman. And it was right behind me. We're not safe here. Come again? You saw it kill a living woman? Yeah, she was dressed like some sort of shamanka. Her name was Jiang Mi. Oh, she hopped off, boys. I'm telling you, that face looks very similar to Jiang Mi. No, it can't be. That simply can't be true. Unless... Could it be? Yeah, so why do I get the feeling you're not telling me something? N never mind, listen. Things just got a lot more complicated. We need your help now. We? Oui? Being very dramatic about this. An ancient order known as the Ghost Vigilantes. It's our sworn duty to protect the, wa the waking realm from otherworldly incursions. This night just keeps getting better. You sound like some kind of manhwa superhero. Okay. Again, Korean bros, educate the dumb bird that's American has no idea what a manhwa is. If you're right, we just lost with the one person who could have stopped the apocalypse. The fate of the world hangs in the balance tonight. At this point, I'll believe anything, but you're losing me again. Why was Jiang Mi so important to your plan? 
The boundary separating the waking realm from the coma is at its weakest when the Super Blood Moon rises. Vicious Sister recently came into a possession of a powerful relic that will allow her to perform the bloody the blood ritual and bypass that threshold. Only the ancient shaman's kindred may wield the moon incense and seal her here. Which, um, Yang Mi was indeed a shaman. Well, I guess we'll have to improvise now. We'll rendezvous with my people at Sewa Hospital. There's only one problem. The road there is crawling with mad shadows, so walking is out of the question. Public transport isn't exactly an option, or is it? Looks like we're taking the subway. Hope you brought a T-Money card. That works here? Uh, of course, I always have it right. I must have left it back at the school. Was it in my class, or maybe I dropped it in the storage room? The subway station shade is notoriously strict. You're not getting on a train unless you find that T-Money card. So we're going back to the school. I'm excited about it, because I know they're going to probably switch things up on us, so... Who knows what type of horror is going to be there now. Yo, there's a dude out here. My friend? <laughs> this guy looks like he just like straight came out straight out of like a K-pop band or something. Some nut barricaded the entrance. You didn't have anything to do with that, right? No, sir. In fact, I'm happy to hear you open the door. That's true. I mean... What was his name? Well, you know, like the geeky guy. He's the one who locked us in here. The school's about a mile's walk, and Yeso mentioned that the road is crawling with mad shadows. Maybe I should call Yeso. Mina, what's up? Hey, I don't think I can reach the school by foot. Why would she even try that? Just use the white bar. Oh, sure, just use the white bar. I'm, I'm supposed to know what that is straight up. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Uh, white bar? Exactly. They're by far the fastest way to travel here. Like wormholes, they link places that are vastest apart so you can reach them quickly. Sounds a bit far-fetched. Is this really the strangest thing you've heard tonight? You need Spectral Bomb to move through the White Burrows without getting shredded up. I left some in a kit at the police office. It's in the generator room. Sure, what could possibly go wrong? How about this? How about you don't leave the item in a most inopportune area? Why not just have it on you and you can hand it to me? No, you know what? You gotta go, like, you know, travel... 70 floors to acquire this item that I left in a particular place for you. What are we talking about? Generator room? Well, luckily it's not too far. We just gotta get into the restroom and go down two times and we're there. In the depths of hell. What's on your mind? There's something freaky surrounding your kid? We call those grasping hands. There are a lot of unexplained phenomena in the coma. We believe though these are the subconscious projection. Remember that spectral matchbox I gave you? Light one up and hold it close. A subconscious projection from who or what? From the individuals who considered whatever they're guarding to be a value. Creepy. Maybe the less you know, the better? <laughs> okay, so this is where we use these matches, apparently, huh? Okay. And then we light that ass up. Sipitates up, we got the spectro bomb. Oh, you know what? When we walked in, there was a couple of those bodies, right? We should probably go check those out. This stuff is really... Pungent. It's called Spectro Bomb. Dab some on you before you crawl through any white burrows. It'll keep the Spectro entities from shredding you up. You can find one in the criminal investigation room. Fortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with the layout of this police station still. Once we get this. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Why? Why? You're not supposed to show up from there. Oh god, the ARPS. The ARPS. This, this is a safe room? This is a safe room. Just gotta go left. Please don't show up suddenly. Uh, the poison thing was there too. That is uh, dangerous. Don't want to get poisoned. Okay. Here we are. Rocking like a hurricane. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, you know what? These are familiar. These are from the Como one as well. I think I remember those holes. They used to be like used to like traverse around the school a lot easier. I think I found that... What did you call it? White Burrow? It doesn't look so safe. That's why you need the Spectral Bomb. You're gonna need a little... Uh, a little fate though. Okay. Well, looks like something dug a tunnel through here. It's just wide enough for me to fit through. Climb on in. Let's see where this goes. Hopefully the school, otherwise, yeah. We're in trouble then. Ooh. The vines ride unpredictably when they sense your presence. The bomb scent protected you from harm. Oh, I was hoping you could, like, maneuver through this area yourself. It looked kind of cool, but it just kind of works as a transition. This is... The classroom, but 
How did I get back here? I was just in the police office. Space must work differently in the tunnels. Someone's calling me. Chance? That can't be. Hello? Is this Mina Park? Is this really who I think it is? Yesel told me I could teach you a... I could reach you at this number. I'm Chance. We met earlier. Right, you're the... Okay, there's footsteps outside. Very loud ones. They don't really sound like high heels this time, which is kind of weird. Um, you're the teacher from the start. The, the American dude. Which, <laughs> very cliche name of Chance. The high school star quarterback. Chance, the new teacher in Ms. Song's class? We didn't have much time for an introduction this evening. Just thought I'd remedy that. You've probably gathered by now, I'm not your average high school teacher. I I've never met a foreigner who can speak Korean fluently. The Sewa Institute has a surprisingly good language program. Look, Yeso filled me in on that on what happened to Jang Mi. She says you're a capable girl. She really said that? You must have made an impression. Yeso's a tough nut to crack. Call any time needs some help, even if to improve your English. Do you really think the apocalypse is the best time to brush up on my speaking skills? Oh, what is this face you're doing over here? This is not flirtatious time with the high school hunk teacher. Your life is in danger. All right, so we're back at the school. Yes. All right. Well, time to expect new stuff. My tea money card should be here. I could have sworn I left everything at my desk. Oh, of course. <laughs> Why would you think you'd come in, grab it, and go back? Yeah. We're in here for a long time, probably. There's a page now here, though. The enemy surrounded Busan, and my family was trapped. A sick feeling of impending doom loomed over us. Through the coming weeks, her family would often huddle in somber silence around the radio. We were desperate for any news of the struggle raging around the city. I learned Suho was stationed at the Busan perimeter with other ROC forces under American command and sent a photo of myself to a local contact to lift his spirits. One day, word of General Douglas MacArthur's Incheon Landing reached us. The feeling of hopelessness concerning our dire circumstances soon yielded to cautious optimism. Sumi is a female, right? And she's talking about her brother. Like, I feel like it's been a while since we've read about these people, but it's coming back to me. Alright, we have barefoot demon girl here. Fancy seeing you here so late, Mina. Huh? Stay back. You're white as a sheet. You like see a ghost or something? You're bitch, please. Dayun? A little late to be lurking around here, isn't it? Why did you say Day Hyun and it says Dashun here? Ah, uh, you know. I can't pronounce Korean names. What can I say? I could do Mina. Mina's fairly easy, though. Could this be another shadow? I, uh, lost something. Thought I left it in Miss Song's class. Looking for this. Hey, where'd you find that? Give it back. Not so fast. You forgot a lot of neat stuff back there. Can't say I'm surprised, though. Your memory isn't what it used to be. Come to think of it, I've been picking up your slack a lot lately because of that. I don't have time for this. What are you getting at? Just saying, it's about time you, like... Turn to favor. This isn't funny, Dayun. Oh, believe me. I get no pleasure from this. But you're simply too basic in your current state. Who are you calling basic? I need someone, anyone, to help me figure out why I'm so incensed and you're, like, the only candidate. I think a little trip down memory lane should jog that foggy brain of yours. You remember how we met, right? It was in that class where we were totally checking out that guy's anatomy. See what I did there? I'm sure you'll figure it out. Later, Gator. Okay, it was in blue, so that was obviously a hint. I mean, maybe they were checking out somebody's anatomy. Oh, you know what? I think I got it. It's gotta be the bio lab. Luckily, this isn't closed off. Oh, neither are you. So honestly, just go down here and... Oh, now you're closed off, of course. That's fine, you just gotta run to the left, and then down. We also have the principal's office over here, maybe we should- Ah, safe spot. Look at that picture over there up top. That is... <laughs> oh boy. Let's just say if I ever saw that in the middle of the night, I'd probably... Defecate myself and die? Probably not in that order. Or probably in that order, who knows. We have a safe spot. 
We got more of you guys. Oh, and a note. Perfect. Uh, let's see what we got. Journey to Sil. I sit upon a precarious journey to Sil with almost nothing to my name, but the clothes on my back and a handful of belongings I had hastily packed. I felt a spiteful pride knowing my actions compounded my mother's grief. This was how I'd punish her for slapping me. My sense of liberation heightened with each passing step. I was relying on the goodwill of strangers to usher me closer to my destination. The art of deception somehow came naturally to me, and I owned my craft of it on adults every day. Light fingers ensured I never went hungry. There was no true end goal, only a vague notion of reuniting with Suho and finding happiness. After many setbacks, I had finally arrived in Seoul. So we just probably hopefully got to go left and then down and we should be fine. This is teacher's lounge. Oh, she's here. She's here. She's here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, there's nowhere to hide here. I think she's gone. I know there was a shiny over there, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> right now she's around. There was no hiding spot there. Biolab. Okay. Oh no! There's an additional lock on this door. Maybe the staff were taking extra precaution to safeguard the dangerous chemicals inside? Where does the teacher keep the key? Oh, why would you think it'd be that easy, Falcon? You're right. Teacher's lounge? Oh, maybe that shiny we saw, perhaps. Okay. So... I mean, more than likely we had to come back here anyway, so... I ain't too salty about it. We have a box here. I mean, I ignore that for now, because we don't have room for it anyway. Huh? Classroom 3133? This looks like a password list for the doors that say, well, hi. 3133, which is upstairs and to the right. Um, no key, though, so I guess we could hit those rooms up, and we might as well also check out the staff office. See if we can find... Any keys there for that? What time is it? Oh man, we're out of time. Alright boys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. This is... Uh, please give me to the principal's office.